Let's just um, look at the stance. Now this is very, very important. If you don't stand correctly, and you don't mount the gun correctly, then you're not going to take the, hit the target. So the first thing you want to do is to actually establish where we want to hit the clay. From there, we can then establish our foot position. Now, if you want to hit the target there, for instance, Graham, there's that spot in the sky there, then your footwork wants to be facing to where the target wants to be intercepted, okay? So establish where you want to hit the bird. You want to hit the bird, we know, somewhere there. So get yourself just established right there with your footwork. That's great. Okay, now we've got to that stage, we can then look at the gun position. Now, the gun position comes just want to come just out of the shoulder. Okay, put your weight forward on the front foot, and if you just demonstrate that for us, bring the gun to the ready position. Okay, this is called the ready position. Now he's ready to take the shot. He's got his gun in the position, and he's looking back for the bird, and he's nearly ready to take the shot. Now, before we go any further with that, before we actually take the shot, Graham, just put the gun down, please. Before we go any further with that, I would like just to talk a little bit about actual techniques on how to shoot a moving target. Now there are basically three techniques used. One is what they call the follow-through technique, or the Churchill method, as you probably have heard. Um, and the other is the pull-away technique. And the other one is the maintain lead technique um, of actually staying in front of the target. Now there are several variations of this technique. I, pref I prefer to call it move, mount, shoot. This is the technique that I teach, and I've taught these two pupils here. I know Graham is going to um, demonstrate us on how to move, mount, and shoot on this target here. What about that, Graham? Where do you think the best place is to look for the clay? Well, you want to look back as far as you can, and the sooner you see the clay, the better. If you can give yourself as much time as possible to take the target, then it's, it's, it's beneficial to you, obviously. So don't look out in front to where you want to hit the bird look further back to where the target is actually coming from and then you can establish what it's doing you can you can judge the speed of the bird you can see if it's coming down or rising up and you can then take your um you know put your technique into operation and, and then take the target so look back as far as you can right let's just try one of those grams shall we yep okay we're going to take this target here it's coming from the top there bob just give us one of those would you please mate there you go it's not too difficult but you know Okay, take the shot, Graham. We'll take two, we'll take them on report, okay? Oh. That's, a, that's, that's consistent shooting. Try that again, Graham. That was good. Oh. Just a little in front of that one. That's the style, yeah. Now you're just on the top of the target. You're not hitting it in the full pattern. You're just on the top edge of the bird. It's, it's still is a, it's a good hit. Just try and bring the gun underneath the line of the bird before you start and push the gun up to the target, okay? That will give you a better... Oh! That's perfect, yeah. That's just nice. That's perfect, yeah. Right, okay, let's take the shot then. That's it, yeah. Pull! That's a good shot, yeah, it's great. Pull! lost the balance a little bit there, didn't you? I did. Yeah, right. Well, that's because you're standing too far around yeah. this way. You want to take the target a little bit further out than Graham. If your footwork is wrong, Tanya, it doesn't allow you to get the forward allowance correct. So if you stand further around what you really need, that's right, another inch on your footwork there will give you give you more than enough forward allowance out there. Yeah. You understand? Because okay. if you're standing, you know, too close, you know, facing the target too much, your actual body will stop the swing, right? Bring yourself around a little bit further and the body will come all the way around. Just a half inch on your footwork or an inch on your footwork will give you more than you require up there. Okay, it's just a safeguard, so get yourself really around just a little bit extra. Here we go. Oh. Good, lovely. 